Welcome back to more adventures with an explosive twist. Mega Man trying so hard to get through a schooling with... Well, we've seen what the locals of this place are like. How exactly any of them are actually somewhat surprised considering the adults of this, uh, this Crimson Demon village. It's more of a surprise that they're actually somewhat normal in comparison. God, when Mega Man is the normal one, you know you're hitting trouble. Oh, the town rebuilt, the lessons must go on, so what is it going to be this time? Are we actually going to get any closer to anyone picking up any actual magical skills? We might as well find out. Okay, fair enough. I was about to start uh, questioning how we're going to be opening up, but... Nice use of little particle effects. But... For what cause? So, we are just going through environmentally friendly. So this is just the physical test. Wow, Chimbuske. Mega Man looks a little chunky there. I see, that would be why. What a familiar that uh, <laughs> that she has there. In fact, the union's uh, joining in on that as well. So you better hurry up and quickly come up with a name for it then. How how long will it be that uh, everything just sticks to the status quo of what we know of the characters? Is anything actually going to be done surprising about it all? And also, this her chest envy going to be a re such a reoccurring joke. I, well, we know what goes on fu like in in, a, in the future for all of this. I am waiting for the big moment where she actually chooses the path which she's going to be taking with the magic. And everyone's corresponding faces and reactions to that. I'm expecting it to be quite late on, though. Well, pudgy. That this is Mega Man. <laughs> Maybe it's just, just Mega Man is uh, just too. too fluffy to really move around or reject her advances. Ink. Could be worse. I mean, it's not an ostentatious kind of name, but I kind of like it. I would say it's normal, but by the standards of the Crimson Village, sure, that's weird. <laughs> Great. And it is their duty... Oh, God. So it is their duty to clean up the mess, is it? How much is going to be left ravished and ravished and devastated? Now, who's going to be going out and trying to grab all of these skill points through 
means it might not be particularly safe. Landmine mages, yeah. How much of this library has been uh, embedded into her mind, though? Is this just some novel that's been put in there? You're not done reading it, but give it... Just hand it over. I mean, the fact that Union was reading Fish Are Friends, it wouldn't, that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, she's a little too enthusiastic about talking about it. Cacti are friends. At least the cacti can't run away from her. I mean, with the option putting yourself out there on a plate like that. <laughs> I mean, maybe for Union it needs to be so clearly outlined to how friends work. From her past life. Um, she's just happy to be there, even if she is being used as some sort of experimental dress-up doll. What's up with her eyes? Yeah, it's probably best not to get too involved. Spider B. How many skill points is it worth? It's mocking her now. I mean, considering she was so drastic as to try and get friends with uh, Fish and F Flora. I mean, at least she has a... Uh, all the hard work that they went through doing her hair. <laughs> Level up. That definitely seemed worth it. And while Megamin was busy in a... She was going to keep that forever. But the... Uh, Megamin had come across such a worthy foe in that spider. What did I just say? The school needs better security. Ah, I see. The time down in the pit. Only so it's quite restrictive. Nostalgia? Is it so he can go and 
Keep him away from the books. I mean, it's almost impressive how much he knows about her routines and what she did. By impressive might be the wrong word. Horribly repulsive. That's the one. Uh... We... We only just came to the realisation about his character. Advice given. I mean, that's a waste of books, is it not? What did they do to deserve that? We should preserve knowledge. Use the bookcases or the tables. Good to see that he's changed, uh, changed a lot. They're gonna need to uh, disinfect those ankles. Interesting signs around her door. I mean, he's not that far away. Has he got anything to offer other than just the ungodly ability to stalk and remain creepy? So, are we now going down the route of trying to get him uh, his fortune read? Anything if it's a potential benefit, right? Got to get in those, uh, s why is she wearing a... So that's why she's wearing the bag. I mean, yes, but, uh... Why she needs to be the villain all of, all of this? Should be defeated easily. So, setting up a... A fake... Des How many layers does it need to be applied for the refraction to properly turn him invisible? Uh, but is really setting up a fake situation like this and putting someone's life in danger the cooler alternative to... than um, defeating the strongest monsters around. He may be invisible, but what about the displacement of the dirt or his heavy breathing? Day after day, I mean... Yeah, he was just trying to see up her skirt. It was fine. Great research. Is it telling him to stay away forever? Uh... Following her around everywhere, that means he hates her. Hmm. I hate this bear. 
Z. So they've got a useless need, two people who haven't used any skill points, I think. And then the fortune teller, how are they going to get out of this situation? So reliable. At least he can be a punching bag. Huh? As a worthless need is at least quite fancy magic. She wasn't standing too far, uh, wasn't standing far away enough though. He is about to suffer horridly. <laughs> And then six month sessions is paid for in advance with interest. The best kind of saved, technically. I mean, true. Uh, any of keep it vague enough where anyone that shows him some affection there we go keep it that way and uh if nothing can be found yep just just keep waiting there she is Uh, hearing that the entire future is not only just devoid of her, but any any reaction of the, 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 the crystal ball. <laughs> they, yeah, they've only got like a ninety nine percent. Success rate. <laughs> I'm using. As much as a failure. Well, uh, there's some hope. Want to see what lies in her future? Oh. No reason. Well, hopefully he does stay uh, alone forever then. <laughs> Lest we uh, put someone through that fate. The future is malleable. Why are Mega Man's eyes so far apart? The thing is, everyone seems to be their own worst enemy in this in in this world. It is the only thing worth worth a damn in uh, in her eyes. I mean, if the landmine mages are thrown away so easily, maybe it would be good that you can form some sort of a attachment so they don't just toss her out on the street. Oh. How far from the truth that is.
Use the buddy system. Buddy? Does that... Who's going to be... Uh, who's going to be taking on that task? And someone else jumps in there. And who's going to help Megaman get home? Oh, she has a familiar, I guess. Does that count? It's safer for... For all of them, right? This is purely about safety. She is talking herself out of a chaperone home there. And the battle continues. I mean... <laughs> and the referee of this fight? The most dangerous of them all. That would be good, no teeth marks or anything left. I don't think we deserve this kind of... pleasant evening and sunset and the music to go along with it. We'll just turn it into a competition then. Well, see ya. Yeah, they'll form a truce temporarily. Stupid. No one can be accurate or truthful with their actual feelings, right? A little bit of uh, honesty, no, it's uh, above all of them. What if he, uh, that neat goes back and asks for another fortune, whether it's paid for or not, but something more simple, somewhere, something easy, something that can be easily um, ascertained, if it's still nothing appearing in the crystal ball, some conclusions can be made. How many of the uh, really stupid antics are we going to be confronted with next time? My problem with this show is that the while things are usually kind of like they were just completely off the handlebars off. Oh. It seems more and more often that things are looking slightly off model and weird when it doesn't need to be. It's not for any extra style or emphasis, it's just laziness. But I do love our adventures with the, uh, I'd say old crew, but at least two of them, Union and Megumin. Seeing some of the other classmates one on their uh, personal interrelationships and the like, the fact that no one's really at each other's throats, there is a uh, 
camaraderie amongst them all, and yet Union is still struggling so hard to find anyone to uh, be friends with. Well, if things look a little different, it's because uh, this is several days later. And due to corruption, video data loss and the likes, I have completely lost almost all of the outro talky bit about the episode, and I, well, with my memory, I really can't remember. But I'll do my best to try and replicate what it is that I was, uh, was, was saying, was talking about. And... Mostly, it was with the series as it is going going forward. Meeting all of the, the these characters, we know exactly what we're expecting. We we know what they were in the main series, especially with Union and Megamin, their relationship between each other. We know how it kind of pans out and unfolds. So any work done here, ultimately feels, to me at least, a little odd. They can't really explore the characters too much when they're so kind of set. But with that said, there are plenty of others to play around with. For instance, a certain stalker. Now, when it's played out for laughs, and then you also get this slight moment of, oh no, but yeah, you can't see your own futures. It personally could go either way on that one. I'm leaning more towards one than the other. With the... Lifetime alone is almost uh, warranted. How many misconceptions and misconstrued misconstrued situations are there when you've got a future reading specialist that can't do anything regarding themselves? What if it was only tangentially? You ask a question like, uh, what we use... Like asking, where will he live future on? Where will he... Uh, be it his fiftieth uh, birthday, if it still shows absolutely nothing, well, well, it could mean one thing, or that there's a more, more to be seen there. Don't it doesn't need to run off in a cloud of tears. But one thing I will say about this show is that it's pushing so hard for the Crimson Demons to have this air of coolness. They need to show themselves to be as flamboyant as possible, and yet, how have any of them survived so long? With them destroying the, the, the village, with all of the adults seemingly incapable of making any sort of rational decision for their own safety or the safety of others. Why are the children so almost level-headed? And while I am genuinely just enjoying the show, there are bits of it which I do question, whether it be budget allocation, time... Uh, I don't think it's intentional that er almost every scene there's a character which just looks completely off-model. So, hang on, why are your eyes so far apart? I mean, the original Gone Super did have elements and moments like that, but I don't think it was ever so prominent. I will have to go back and re-watch it, just so, if I need to eat my own words, uh, I'll humbly do so. But it does seem as though not as much care was put into this one. Still... How many of them are going to be uh, moving up in the world, gaining their first skill in magic, starting off their, their path to be cool? We know they've been attacked a few times, and only Union has something able of protecting them with that dagger. 
they're going to need to uh, start picking up quickly. So, if you're excited to see that, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below, consider subscribing, maybe even join onto my Discord. There is lots of that, lots that I forgot that I, I needed to say, but completely gone. Get some rest, so I can see you in the next one. If you would like to help be part of my future, whether it be devastatingly unsatisfactory or not, consider joining onto my Patreon. Because if you help support the channel, there's all the more reason why I won't need to resort to lurking around corners or hiding out in libraries. So, if you would like the anime to continue, much like the amazing people here that are Noku, Sal, Croyville, Diego, Zenhausen, Guado, Kite, Raywin, Lightwizard91, Shiwan, Tori Jane, and everyone else. I am truly grateful that the future may be slightly bright, thanks to all of you.